This is a milestone that is for sale. Front door, we're gonna go this way. Goes out for an outside sink. Stove area, two burners, one large and small. Outside electrical outlets, a small refrigerator. One of the poles, we will go outside and around. The grass is tall because we have horses and we change out pastures. So we're trying to let this grow to feed them. Now this RV has a unique feature. It has a back door that I will show you later. Um, it's for the back full size bathroom. So if anybody's muddy or whatever, they can come in the back door, take a shower before they go through the RV. This RV has plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. Here's a hose. You can take a shower or wash the dogs or clean off your feet or whatever. City water connection, flush tank flush valves, um, portable water. We have outlets. We have cable and internet connections. Lights throughout. So you can see tank one, there's two tanks here. This can be changed to have a bumper pull put on it. All right, we're gonna go, this is the other side of that storage unit. Um, in this side, you have electrical outlets and a cable connection so that you can hook up a TV outside if you wish. This is the other tank. Storage space. More storage space. We're gonna go up the stairs. Going inside. Sofa. You have these blinds. Pull them up. You can see the outside. I didn't tighten them up. So this is the kitchen area. A little dinette in the kitchen area has a large TV. These are all your buttons to push for the heaters and the slides and the lights. Okay. Storage space. You have a radio. You can put a DVD or a disc in there. Um, it has speakers for the inside, outside, and both and you can also use bluetooth this is your auto leveler this will level your rv you don't have to do it easy peasy all right and small stairs to the master i will show you that in a minute now this rv has two full-size refrigerators both in excellent condition of food can go in there for a big size family. Lots of storage space. There are drawers underneath the refrigerator for storage. This is the kitchen. Storage space, drawers, Oven, stove top, microwave, lots of storage space. This is a sink. You can put these on 
to have more counter space or take them off as you need to wash your dishes or what have you, okay? We're gonna go to the master bedroom. Toilet, now this shower is very nice. It has a nice bench to sit down if you need to. Sink, nice medicine cabinet, and storage space at the bottom. Right. We're gonna go to the master bedroom. Now this bedroom fits a queen or a king size. When we were in here for a while, we pulled our king size bed in here. It worked just fine. This is a queen size that's in here now. This is a television that we put in here. We will keep it in here. This is a four drawer. This is the closet. Now this part of the closet, you can hook up a washer dryer. It has a washer dryer connection. We never used it. Okay, but, or you can hang up clothes. This is the other closet. Nice area, a little cubby hole in the back for extras. Hanging, I'm gonna close it. a nice mirror and then you go back down the stairs now this is the back room if you have people or children back there and you don't want to hear them or it's their bedtime and not yours you were able to close it, if I can get it undone. My fingers are not working today. You can close them off. Open, oh, there's plenty of space back here for sleepers. There's a sleeper cubby there, a sleeper cubby there, lots of space under here. My mother made these curtains so that the kids could have their own space. Lots of space. There's a bed up there. Now this bed, we climb the stairs. It has a lot of space up here. You could have two people up here, should you need them. And then of course, if they want to close off, they can. All right, now this is a, a extra kitchenette section for people to eat, kids to do their homework, play games, what have you. It does have a TV backer location. We never used it. Now, this is also a bed space right there. What you do, lift it up, pull that out. It's gonna go down. Another bunk. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the bathroom. Now remember the back side, back stairs. This is the door to that area. It has a full-size bathroom. So this RV is special and it has two full-size bathrooms. Toilet, sink, cabinet, extra space for personal needs or what have you. And 